Hey YouTube, it's me, Empress E, and I am back with the tea. So, I figured I would do a reading today because I got so many, so many good messages and good vibes today. Like today just flew, I mean, it flew by and it just flowed. Um, I've been feeling like an overwhelming sense of enjoyment as well as confusion as to like which path that I want to take as far as in life but I got some messages my lip burning because I've been eating peaches with chamoy and tahini if you want a snack a good snack get you a nice juicy sweet peach and put these two on there baby it's the bomb. Get the hot, though. This this the mal. They ain't had a hot. But I had wanted to do a reading for the Capricorn Moon energy. The Capricorn for a moon is tomorrow. But if you look at it, it looked like it's full. Ooh, excuse me. It looked at full last night. Y'all, and then look. If y'all gonna do this, do it in moderation because this is a lot of sodium. Especially if you got high blood pressure. Because it's addictive. So I just want to do, look at that. So I just want to do a short message because I usually, I ate that whole big old peach and only ate half of it. But I know my daughter probably come down here and eat the rest or I might end up eating the rest. I'm feeling good energy. This is some good energy. I hope this energy stays. Let's see. Let's get some readings. Okay. These are the decks I'm going to do. You got to stay hydrated. <sighs> you give me the wisdom and discernment to give clear, concise messages to the collective. Let's see what this reading is going to be like, y'all. I'm excited. I hope we don't get no hating shit or nothing about nobody trying to travel toward us on them. But I ain't even finna talk that into here. We, this is going to be a positive reading. I only got oracle cards, so let's get it. Let's see what the universe, let's see what our spirit is trying to Tell us honesty. I can't always be the. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Okay, so this is just. Don't be in denial about expecting the truth from others. You know what I'm saying. You just know your truth, especially when it comes to this freedom from adversity. Look at this. Let me pull this down a little bit so y'all can see. This freedom from adversity. So you got the trust. Trust in your purpose and don't worry. Look at this. Yes. Trust in your purpose and don't worry. I did a reading on the Gibbous Moon. And that's about putting in work. Something that you could have manifest. You could feel like, you know, you didn't complete it. You didn't grow in it. This is something you you know you could have isolated yourself from, or you could feel guilty about, or you could be questioning. This could be something that you manifested that you really didn't look into, and now you know you're dealing with the consequences of that manifestation, which is in all manifestation. You know you're gonna manifest good things and you also gonna manifest the dark side of those good things the the stipulations <laughs> of your manifestations and um you need to be prepared to be able to handle those you know what i'm saying because some manifestations they bring blessings but they also bring a little chaos and conflict your way you know what i'm saying it could be through people's and it also could be through, like, say you manifest some money and you don't utilize it wisely and, you know, you you lose out on some stuff or you lose out on some money or something. That's just an 
Example, you manifest the relationship and it don't turn out the way that you expected it to. That's 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 what I want to say. And it's like, don't have any expectations. Just have gratitude and be prepared for what it is that you're trying to manifest. And if you don't know what you're trying to manifest, have clarity. The sun and community. I feel like I want to. Look, I've, I've been always saying, but I want to move somewhere where it's sunny all year round. It's time for me to change my surrounding and move to a different community. There's a thank you, man. You resting and rejuvenating and you thinking about taking this um, leap of faith. This is the fool. You know what I'm saying? In the um, tarot deck to me, you know, it could represent something else for you guys. But you standing there, you contemplating as you go through this transformation towards your growth. You know what I'm saying? You know, isolated yourself. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. You releasing those beliefs that don't assist in your soul's growth. And, you know, a lot of people could be feeling guilty or you could feel some guilt, guilt related to cutting off certain relationships. You know what I'm saying? And spirit is just telling you, you know, not to be feel guilty. Be honest with yourself. Really reflect on the situation and what that situation brought you. You know what I'm saying? Understand that mistakes are only opportunities to grow. Because you're going to continue to manifest and you're going to continue to evolve. But as long as you focus on your happiness and you resting and rejuvenating in these uh, down periods doing this growth. Because my, my, my growth been on the road. Of, blah, blah, blah. My growth and my expansion, my advancement and my, my just evolution of me. It's been on the roller coaster. I've been up and down, up and down, even with my finances. You know what I'm saying? But I'm manifesting steady flow. I'm manifesting an upward, <laughs> upward spiral. I don't want no dips, but I know in life you get dips. You know what I'm saying? Here and there. So I don't get down on myself. When I'm not doing as well as I want, I want to be doing. You know what I'm saying? That's that time that I have to rest and rejuvenate and reflect and commun communicate with spirit and see where the universe is leading me next. You know, what is the lesson that I need to see? You know, that's when I start seeking the lessons. So you got somebody... <laughs> I don't even want to get into this somebody. Real talk. I just with this this reading, I want to keep it about us. I don't want to involve anybody else in this reading. I'm not finna talking about no masculine. I'm not finna talk about no haters. None day. We focus on evolving. We focus on our happiness. And we focus on our own. Our stability, that's why we need to stay poised in this situation and not focus on all these outside energies that's trying to throw us off. You know what I'm saying? And take us off course. And if we if you unsure about your course, just trust, trust that the universe is going to guide you correctly. Trust that your intuition is going to guide you correctly and that God is sending the right individuals to, on your path to... Give you those messages that your soul is longing for. You know, somebody want to come in and mend the situation. It's thinking, man. But I'm not finna get into that. Why? Because your time is ticking. You know what I'm saying? We ain't getting no younger. You thinking about how to level up. How to get your son. You got your son, but you... you you're thinking about how to shine brighter, how to evolve, how to rise. You know what I'm saying with this serendipity. Motherfuckers see you as lucky. But it's a higher power involved in this. You know what I'm saying? And you could be manifesting your soulmate. Oh, your soul trap. Your twin flame. Lord Jesus. Okay. Somebody feeling left out of the cold. But the games is not for you. Real talk. 
So there's a higher power involved in this. Keep following your intuition. We got 441, 414, 444 out here. That 44, your prayers have been answered. The abundance you seek is on its way. Real talk. 30, 30. I don't know what 30, 30 is, but I'm kind of curious to know. Hey, Google. What is the angel number 30, 30? I don't know, but I found these results on search. Focus on your spirituality. What? It's be brave and honest in this night uh, energy. But I feel like this energy is coming from this divine masculine, this twin flame that want to come back in. Jesus, I hermit retreat. And recharge. It's time for you to retreat and recharge. Like I said, pull back your energies when you're going, taking those down, downward spirals. When your energy is getting low. You know what I'm saying? When you start to feel that anxiety and that those feelings of not being sure of, you know, the path that you're going in. It's time to rest and recharge. And become the shape shifter and transform and unveil your gifts after you to rest and recharge and Go within, you know what I'm saying? And communicate with God through prayer, through meditation. You'll know who to exchange energies with to create abundance. You know what I'm saying? In this trader energy, you'll be able to trust people. You know what I'm saying? Based upon your past experiences, you know, when dealing with dealing with people. Real talk, I want to. Trust and thrive up under here. And let go of the need to always be right. Be the peacekeeper. And ain't never been nothing wrong with being the peacekeeper because you get to enjoy success and happiness and bask in light. Yes. And as you connect with your emotions because, you know, if you're a water sign, you, you get deep in them emotions real talk. But you got to trust your intuition. You can't be all emotional trusting people right off the bat. You got to stand your ground with these mountains. These mountains represent those obstacles and challenges that life throw at you. And these three stars, three just represents that trinity, that holy trinity. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit coming into one, having harmony as you shift your perception, you know what I'm saying? And take note of the moon because we got this full moon in Capricorn. And as we approach this full moon, it's important, you know, for you guys to be devoted and committed to what it is that you're doing as you choose your path and just trust in the unknown and know that God got you and trust your talents during these changing times. Okay. Okay. Jesus, look at these messages. Great teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. That message, 3030, focus on your spirituality. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to continuously be attacked. You know what I'm saying? The, the brighter your light shine, the more darkness is drawn to you. It's just like the day and the night. You know what I'm saying? You can't have day without night. You got to go through the night to get to the day. But you got to be fearless and stand strong. You know what I'm saying? When you're dealing with that shadow self. And that dark side of the manifestations that you've been uh, drawn into your life. You know what I'm saying? You got to continue to dream and journey as you unlock the magic within and harness these mystical powers. You know what I'm saying? And set your gaze higher. Don't just settle for status quo. You know what I'm saying? You got to take time and reflect and shed that old skin. Real talk. And be the white witch. Be the light. You know what I'm saying? Because you're a seer. You see beyond the current situation. And that's what people, people that like a lot of drama, 
<laughs> Look, surround yourself with protective energy. <laughs> this surrounding yourself with positive energy. But what I was going to say is that people that like a lot of drama, they don't like people that see this beyond the situation because you're not drawing in that negative energy. You're not bringing that drama to you. You you reflecting that shit on. You sending it back to sender. Because you moving beyond those ancestral patterns. That woe is me shit. You know, that project mentality. That poor mentality. That I got to depend on the system mentality. Or I got to depend on somebody that codependent shit. You letting it go. You dropping it. As you intend and you create. You got to. In order to see your seeds grow. And this is the rabbit. This is the most fertile animal that. I just say antithesis. So if you you know you put your head down, you intend and create, things are gonna start to move and accelerate motion and as your fire ignite. You know, you're gonna be in that Leo energy, you're gonna be in that fire-like energy. You know what I'm saying? As you ignite your passion and track down your fears and desires, because baby, you're gonna enjoy that growth and reap the rewards because you are protected. You protected by your guardian angels. Look at this. The sun, the moon, and the all-seeing eye. This, this white feather represents purity. It represents angelic energy. Your angels are protecting you. You are not alone. You got to trust in the higher forces. As you take care of your needs, honor your inner knowing. Because people going to attack you. When you taking care of your needs. Because you're not pouring into them anymore. You know what I'm saying? You're not giving them that energy that they need. Be the wise one. And grow within your current situation. As you see. Look. As you see things from a higher perspective. I didn't remember these cars, baby. <laughs> see the eagle fly above the bullshit. Okay. Seven. Seven arrows going down, the middle one, right into this eye, the all-seeing eye. God see everything. You know what I'm saying? Drop your shield because you protect it. You protect it all day long. God is going to protect you. Medicine garden. Be open to healing information and feel loved and comforted by Mother Earth. I can go through this whole day. You know what I'm saying? But this ain't, ain't nothing but love and energy. Put that work in. The Capricorn Moon is about power. A lot of people are stepping into their power. And it's about really honing in on what it is that you're capable of doing. And expand on that. You know what I'm saying? And love and let yourself be loved as you get rooted and grounded. I might as well. Because you got to be graceful in your movement and wait for that important information before you release that while within. And release the all and rest as you move in a new direction. And I feel like towards the, what is this, fall to an autumn, a lot of people are going to be moving in a new direction. You know what I'm saying? And that black crow just represents messengers, the messenger spirits. You know what I'm saying? Guiding you, you know, letting you know when danger is ahead. I know when I see my crows, I know some shit going down. Real talk. And my birds been coming to see me, my cardinals, you know. And it's another beautiful bird that comes see me. I forgot what it's called. But, yeah, you got to move in a new direction and take charge of your life with authority and trust the Lord is protecting you and he got your back. This is the star ancestors. Follow the voice of your soul. Your ancestors are guiding you. You know what I'm saying? They looking down at you. They watching you. They holding space for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you held space for them. You know, a lot of you guys got... A lot of you guys have um, altars honoring your ancestors. You know what I'm saying? And they appreciate that energy that you give back to them. Real talk. But you got to make sure, make, 
Make plans and focus. This is a shield maiden. Broken area arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. You know what I'm saying? You could be feeling broken because you in this lonely state. You know what I'm saying? Everybody isolated from you. You know what I'm saying? Out of guilt. Because they felt like they was playing you, but in the end, they end up playing themselves. You know what I'm saying? And you could be feeling lonely because you don't resonate with the same people that you used to resonate with before. You know? So, protect yourself as you make plans and focus because everybody ain't going to go on the road with them plans. People going to have some stuff to say, but you're going to have to go for it. You know what I'm saying? And just embrace the energy of peace. Be around like-minded individuals, people, positive people that's going to uplift you and that's going to push you to go further. You know what I'm saying? There is a higher purpose. You do have a higher purpose. There's a higher power involved in this. Things are going to change. Just 41 breakdowns to five. Things are going to change. You know what I'm saying? Your, your blessings is being asked to come up out of your head. You leveling up. Look at where you came from, where you at, and where you going. And just focus on that. Be patient. You ain't running out of time. Time is of the essence. Time is what you make it. Relax. Go with the flow. Transform your gifts. You at the gate. You almost at the finish line. You almost there. It's time to rest. Your happiness is assured. This is the sun card. We put the sun twice in this day. Don't feel guilty about leaving people from your past. You know what I'm saying? And embrace this time in Herman mode by yourself to learn yourself. You know what I'm saying? To perfect your craft, to better yourself, you know, so you can evolve and grow. Focus on your growth. Don't focus on your failures. You know what I'm saying? Don't linger in this energy. Learn from it as you manifest because you can manifest better. And if you pay attention to what you manifest and how you manifest it, if you manifest it right, you will notice that each time you manifest, you level enough. I know I have. So that's the reading. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. I'm Empress E. You guys have a blessed one. If you like the message, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.